Conversation, a place where we have uncomfortable conversations comfortably in great venues with amazing food, drinks, and even better people. I'm Tiffany Cross, and today we will be talking candidly about dating in society today and what are some of the challenges or not of finding love. Today I have with me to my right, Cedric, Chelsea, BJ, and to my left, <laughs> I have Spivey, Daryl, and Shalette. So let's get right into it. When I asked a lot, all of you, your different experiences with dating, you all had very different responses. So just really briefly, kind of give us all a synopsis of like what your experience has been like so far. In my experience, uh, first of all, it's like unrealistic expectation that we place on each other, I'll include myself, as well as, I don't know if it's an LA thing or if it's a person thing, but I've noticed, at least since moving here, everyone wants to be in an open relationship. And that's just not my vibe. And, but then also, I can't put what I don't like on and, and expect someone else to you know follow through, and that's just been kind of a problem. Mm -hmm. um, not having someone that is compatible with my way of thinking and vice versa. There's nothing wrong with that, but we have to go to a point where we're mature enough to know like, oh, you know, it, it, you know, if I'm okay with that, then I'm okay right. with that. If I'm not, there's no love lost, I can move on. Mm -hmm. But I think once you have that experience, maybe once or twice, you're kind of like, well, everybody, I, what's the point? Yeah. So that has been my, you know, overall view since for a while now. Yeah. Okay, okay. When I was dating um, more actively, the issue was just meeting people who are extremely dishonest. Um, dishonest with their lifestyles, dishonest about what they had going on, and that's incredibly tough. Um, now the issue is just not meeting people. Like, even beyond myself, my friends, we all have like the same kind of plight. Like, if we go out, men don't say anything. That you'll find men that look at you, they'll stare at you all night, but men don't approach <laughs> women. It's That's like, what's so with you, weirdos? Like, say something. If you're interested, say I'm a woman, you're supposed to pursue me. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna bite you unless you ask me to. <laughs> but say, say something. Yeah. Like, men don't need, it's like men want to be chased and pursued. I'm a southern girl, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. If you're interested in me, say something, or else Scary. nothing's ever gonna happen. I'm gonna sit there and watch you, like, go by, watch go by. Look like, I don't know what you want, like, do something. Like, do something, <laughs> anything. I, I, they I just think, don't do nothing. I think the difference between, if we're talking about, like, right now, present day, the difference between LA and most places, I'm not sure if anyone is from LA, but I feel like when you come from a different world, wherever it is, I'm from the Midwest, you've been taught a different way of life, a different way of how you approach relationships. So I feel like when you're in LA, you're adapting, but you're also not trying to lose what you know. And then once I start realizing that people out here are socially awkward, Bruh. back home, it's like, it's like, hey, if he speaks, you stop, you have a conversation, and it's, you can go your separate ways, or you can exchange info, or you can continue the moment. But out here, I feel like everything is loaded into that moment that you don't know if you should speak. I will I say think, this to your point. I'm sorry, you can go ahead. I was going to say, I think technology has a lot to do with people not being as forward or not speaking. Because in my experience, I feel like a lot of people say a lot of stuff online. Thanks. And, you know, they a comment on my picture. They would, you know, DM me, you know, do make certain moves. But then when I see them in person, it's like they're frozen. I'm like, okay, what the hell going on over here? Because you had all this junk talking in the inbox. Now all this energy. You sitting over here just like, a pain on the wall. Right. What's going on? <laughs> uh, to your guys' point, um, a lot of times what ends up happening is you got, LA is a hub. There's 10 million people here. Mostly, most people aren't from here or their families are not from here. They've moved here. And so a lot of times what I hear is people like, oh, well, out here it's different. I'm like, well, you have a bunch of people that are not from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. You know, the Great Migration happened in what, the 50, 40s and 50s and the 60s. And so you, you, you bring a lot of people that move here that bring in their, you know, the traditions, their beliefs, and then you mix them with other people with different beliefs and traditions, and all of a sudden you associate that with Los Angeles, and that's how it is. No, that's not how Los Angeles is. Mm -hmm. 
Right. When you meet people that are from here, raised here, very different. It's mm-hmm. very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear all the time, like, where all the black people are? Like, Psh, they're everywhere. I see them all the time, but I know where they're at. Right. Yeah. I'm always very weary when I say, <clears throat> when I hear things or when I say things like, and I attribute it to Los Angeles and the culture. Because I know a lot of us aren't from here, aren't mm-hmm. raised here. So we bring in what we've brought or what we've learned and what we've grown up with elsewhere. And then we try to associate it with the people here, not knowing that they are not from here. Right. They weren't raised here. Like, yeah. that's not their thing either. Now, to my dating, <laughs> uh, my dating has been very privileged and spoiled, if I can say that. I can't say that I've had, it's been very privileged, man. I come from a place of privilege with, with my dating life out here and anywhere else I've been. I don't know what that says about me or anybody else. Um, it's been very spoiled as well. I've enjoyed it. I've had a good time. It's not always been a blast. I will say that. A lot of it has failed. Um, my fault, of course. <laughs> Accountability. Accountability. Yeah, I'm, like, yeah, I'm, like I'm never the yeah, dude yeah. that, I'm never the dude like, oh, she was crazy. She was, I'm not that guy, man. Yeah, a lot of things that I've done yeah. allowed them to react the way they reacted to mm-hmm. it. And, and they were justified in their emotions and how they felt about it. But other than that, I've had a blast in my dating life, man. I can't say that I've had many... Bad experience. Dry season? Oh, so you're kidding. Dry He's wearing his phone that dry. He's wearing his phone that Okay, so my phone is dry as hell. <laughs> that is, that is, that is a more indicative of what I decided to do last yeah. year. Mm-hmm. I decided to embark on a journey to where we'll get into that later. But anyway, <laughs> my phone is dry as shit right now, but that is because I chose to be. And yeah. I'm actually mm-hmm. happy with that, with the decision that I made. And I'm at peace with that. That, uh, with that being said, I mean, it's dry, but if I want it, or if somebody wanted to contact me, it's all good. What you right. Want to do? What, what I've noticed, too, there's two things. One thing is, as you get older, yes, we can have standards and all of that, but we kind of get out of that, my type, my type, my type, my type, mm-hmm. because we're not going to always get the whole entire package, and we right. can miss out on, and some people might disagree on different or great qualities because of one thing we don't like that can really be changed or worked on Mm -hmm. or that we can grow or learn to compromise with you know they may not look like us they may not all have the same kind of upbringing but it's some great people out here Mm -hmm. and like I've been embarking on a journey where I you know maybe once a week I go somewhere I've never been whether it's a restaurant it's a museum a store a park and I meet strangers and we're not really strangers. Mm-hmm. Meaning like, oh, this person, I like, no one would ever know that I like opera. Like no one would ever know that I wanted to be a celloist. No one would ever know that I am an avid book reader, that I go ax throwing, that I do archer. Like that's weird, but. I don't think it's weird. It, yeah. It, there are, Shit, I didn't know, I didn't know yeah. that people didn't think <laughs> that song is really fun. Yeah. That's, 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 that's 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 a place in North Hollywood that has like That's really what I'm saying. Fun. I wouldn't have never known that people didn't think that was weird mm-hmm. if I only hung out with people who thought it was weird. Right. My yeah. friends who aren't into that. Yeah. The more I get to know people and yeah. the more I, I open myself up as far as <laughs> being not all, already going in with my mind <laughs> made up. Right. When I have a conversation with someone, it just flows. And so the more I do that, I think I'm meeting people, and now I just have to get beyond what they, you know, let me, let me look at their teeth. Let me do this little stuff. No, you gotta look at your teeth, girl. Yeah, but you, you gotta know. look at the teeth. <laughs> but you know, and the teeth, too. I'm out. But you know, I'm out. Like, if this is a glitch day, you gonna neglect me. But you can fix teeth. That's what I'm saying. You can fix teeth. Because listen. Okay, so People listen. People shut down a whole re- like. Yeah, it's you can fix it though, about. because I feel and I, for me, I feel like there's certain things that, like character, you can't you right. can't go by that. No. You know, you can't go spruce that up. I mean, obviously, if you do the inner work, you probably of can course. can make some changes in your life. But I feel like aesthetically, physical attributes. I mean, obviously, you have to be attracted course. to the person that you're interested yeah, no. in. Like that, that just goes off <laughs> off top, but. I think that there are certain things that, like you said, I think we do hold too high and, and don't really look at like the qualities of a person. But or, or I, honestly, I feel like that's more on men than women. Women will, you know, I know I typically like a guy with two eyes, but he only got one. <laughs> <laughs> giving me the attention I like. So I'll go ahead and, you know, get my phone number because he's paying me some attention. That's true. But men will not budge. That's true. Yeah, they no, will. No, I'm going to disagree no. here. No. <laughs> <laughs> They said, nah. Oh, I think we're the most. 
<laughs> yeah, we go. We are the most compromising species. But, but, but we have to see what you're compromising. They just lie on the board today. That's 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 shocking statement. No, no, because look, I literally just had this conversation with my boy, and I was like, yo. We gonna go there in a minute. Has there ever been a girl who told you that she lived at home with her mother or her father or her parents and you cared? Not at all. Ever in the world. Tell me what world. Right. I mean, but the time that we in right now, everybody but, got roommates and shit. No, no, but it's, it's, it's like, so these things is like, we, I, I think for most men, I mean, and, and I can't speak for most men, but I'm going to. Um, I think that we date, like my boy, he has this song where he says we judge ourselves by our intentions and others by their actions. I think in dating, men do the opposite. Like we're judging you based on this idea of you that we have in our head. So it's like, yo, she's in, she's in this house with her mom. I can see a life where we get out the house. So that's why I'm dating. It's not necessarily... I see but like I see a life where we saving together in your mom's yeah. house. Let's just go ahead. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Where like we do <laughs> in some, your mom's house. Right. We, <laughs> we, <laughs> we, <laughs> we, <laughs> I'm not going to be a 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 I'm just, 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 i Right, cigarettes. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, me for sure. I'm and like, I, I was like, like again, <laughs> again, that's until that's this girl I had a crush on, I remember, I was like, yo, I will kiss her after she smoke a pack of cigarettes. Oh, no. Like, okay, so, <laughs> okay, so, okay, so, right? Which, so because, like, what? I had this idea mm -hmm. of what I thought that I wanted, and then I saw her, and I was like, no, I want her. And then I was like, everything that comes with her, I guess I want that too. So we're going to take it there, right? Because you said that you feel like men don't aren't as compromising as women are. And have you ever seen, had a, had a dude you were dating and an ex, or, or and then he dated somebody else or cheated on you with somebody else and you were like. With that? With that? <laughs> right. I hear it all the time. Like he liked that or he had that or are you, you, have you ever judged a person you were dating based on who they were Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, well you gonna sit there and tell me that we aren't compromising? Cause I know you, you stuck your nose up at like, ooh, her, ooh. I mean, but he could but genuinely you, like her. Like, but that's, you know, that's, that's, that's not compromise, not, though. If you genuinely that, like her. Women are more compromising than men. I'm in there to say, like, but I mean, from our standard, I, mean, I feel like we compromise for the sake of life. relationships. Y'all yeah. will uh, compromise not, for the sake of fucking. She said y'all compromise. Let's specify that part. That's what I mean. Let's specify that part. Y'all will literally sleep with. Okay, well, cool. You we know. got now. Okay, we passed that point. That's what I was gonna say. The attraction. That's different. They're I mean, ready. They're really to be on the attraction. I mean, but I feel like I feel like we've skipped Cedric. I want to. I want to hear like what is your experience? I, my like? experience. I feel like dating is kind of like scary to me in some sense. I feel like um, I've always kind of been real independent, and um, I think sometimes the idea of I think letting somebody into that space. I nice. think sometimes because I think a lot of times. Even for me, moving out to LA, I started to see a lot of areas that I didn't know that were dysfunctional about myself. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of times, even with dating, it's just, you know, there's just a lot of, th I think it, I think the first step is like learning who you are, the things right. that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people get, get into situations off of attachment and mm -hmm. it's just a lot of dysfunction. So I think for me, it, I've always kind of just been like, you know, when it comes to like getting serious, and I and I think that's a problem too, because I, I don't know what it feels like to really allow somebody into that space, because I'm always just you know, as far as like letting my guard down, and right. that seems scary to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So for me, it's like I've I've just I've been able to see that like that's a problem. Like you gotta like okay. let somebody in. So it's always been tricky for me. Be open, me. like somebody was kind of saying. No, I think for me, from what I've seen growing up, yeah. relationships, and right. I, I think even you know it's just dysfunctional. Mm. Like even. Being honest, even certain things with my parents, I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, like, for me, I always was just like, yeah, I don't want that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like, and not to say, like, because and, they got married young, and I think a lot of times you don't know who you are. Right, mm -hmm. right. And so you you dealing with, a lot of times you get what your parents got. You mm -hmm. do, That's what you, that's your, you know, your platform, that's your blueprint. And um, a lot of times it takes you having to unlearn that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so for me, that's what it's, that's where I'm at now. It's just like trying to like deal with those areas so that I can be available to somebody. Right. You know right. And I definitely so agree. Unlearning it, what I what I realized, and it, it, it took my pops passing before I started really realizing the stuff that I was like, yeah, I'm not messing with none of that pops. Like 
I'm gonna just, so for me, as opposed to unlearning it, I just had like, this is this constant that exists in my life because I know it. So there is no unknowing it. Yeah. So now it's like based on good and bad, I'm gonna take this and it's gonna be like a drive and it's gonna slide this way towards the good. I'm gonna take this and when it's bad, it's over here. So it's like, you know, like, okay, certain things you're taught, certain things you're taught not to do by their actions. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't need to be, I'm telling you that this is a teaching Absolutely. moment for you to take or not to take. It's like, now you can assess it from wherever healthy space you're at mentally. Exactly. Like, okay, yeah. dad was doing this. Okay, this makes sense now. Dad was doing this, yep. this makes sense now, exactly. but don't do it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So if, if you look at that, you won't, like, cause your parents are people. Cause you, you're right, you have been given a blueprint and it's not even as much as what you saw, as much as what's in your DNA. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, we, exactly. But we, and we also know we can't always use that as a, as, as a crutch, and we do because we are afraid. Because I'll be candid, you know, uncomfortable conversations yeah. comfortably. I grew up in a household where my dad was a abusive physically, uh, verbally, like, like, like mm -hmm. all the way around. So as I got older, that is what I led with. So whenever I would meet a guy, oh, you, I'm gonna make sure you know you never control me. I'm gonna make, and then that's not even what they're trying to do. Mm. And I, let, I'm gonna make sure you know that I'm tough and you can never, you know, take what. But and it was like, yeah, I saw that. But how long am I gonna continue to use that as, as an excuse? Crush, yeah. What yeah. excuse? So I had to like Thank flip that around and say, okay, that that's what happened. My parents are human. They made their mistakes, but that's not who I am. If I'm constantly trying to prove to a guy that I'm strong, I'm going to do whatever it takes, and it's going to so make him. try to make him weak, weaken him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's not okay. And I can't at 31. What I was doing at 24, I can't. Yeah, well, my dad and because all of us we would never be anywhere if we continue yeah. to use right like, everyone yeah. has been through exactly and exactly. i feel like i'm trying to do the work yes do the work but work. be willing to know like he said right be aware of what your dysfunctions are why right. is that upset why why exactly. is that exactly and sometimes and people it's struggle with that, that place it is. some people don't know or don't have the environment to even be able to step out of themselves yeah. they right. just, they're used to you know what i'm saying they're used to yeah, it's it is. Or, yeah. or they have the this is just how I am. Yeah. Yes. No, that's not you gotta work. You don't have to be that way. Exactly. The, the work the work is hard though. Sometimes it's hard going back and like touching those areas where you weren't clear at the right. You know what I'm right. saying? Sometimes that's that's heavy. It's so it's necessary. It's, 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 Surgery it's, is that's hard. The that's, that's the best thing. Like that's the best thing, especially if you want a healthy relationship. Exactly. It's like yeah. up your heart. Yeah, like exactly. It's, it's it's work. You're right. It's but work, I'm saying that's why people look at it as like it's yeah. too much. But and you know why some people won't do the work because they don't think they can. Yeah. They don't believe. Or it really starts with. Or, it really, or yeah, our they only don't. Tonight is going to always be self doubt. Or it's uncomfortable too because you just used to your here. I I started a mental health platform called Can I Be Vulnerable. It's a docu-series where it's nothing but black men give a very personal mental health and emotional health journey with a personal story. I started my own personal, and through this work, I've been doing it two years now, I've discovered a lot about everything that you guys are talking about, which is all true. Uh, vulnerability is, for one, an extremely terrifying thing. Yeah. To look at yourself in the mirror and say, right. here's my issues. Yeah. For one, it's hard to identify. Right. Exactly. Because you are you every day, right? And you yeah, think you have a hold on things. So even identifying the fact that you have an issue is extremely hard. Yeah. Right. It is an extremely terrifying thing to now say that to yourself, to admit that. Uh, but it's also an extreme one of the bravest things you can do. Exactly. Absolutely. So when people say vulnerability is a safe space, I always say like, yeah, but you need to include a brave space as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, was, I, like like this I put itself. that on my list. That's Actually, that was my <clears throat> first thing, vulnerability. Because I feel like if you don't have, if you don't have the capacity to be vulnerable with me, like we literally don't have a relationship because your know. vulnerability is literally everything about you. That's good and bad, yeah, right, right yeah. and wrong. And if you can't come to me with that whole setup ready, then I know that you're not ready for a relationship, which is one reason why I really don't date out here. I feel like exactly. a lot of people don't want to confront themselves, like you said. They're afraid or they just simply don't want to do the work. And it's like, I don't have time for that, you know? That. And that, um, it's, it's very interesting that we got onto that point because when I asked in terms of what are some of the difficulties that we find in trying to 
develop relationships. One of the responses really, really stood out to me and they're all anonymous, so I don't know exactly who said it. I have an idea, but I wanted to read it because it, it to me it stood out and it was really good. Um, and it says, there's too much access to others, social media, dating apps, etc. So people are always curious if something better is out there. People are not confident in who they are. They're trying to live up to societal standards, norms, and therefore don't show the real them. Especially in LA where people move to chase their dreams and reinvent themselves. And there's a lack of vulnerability, honesty, and real communication. And feel like we live in a commitment phobia culture. Now there's a lot to unpack there. Oh yeah. But I really do I really do I I when I read that I was like, wow, like this if I was to express my experience, like that is literally yeah, what it has been. That's and so because society says in our culture, be yourself. You know, we're we're be yourself. And then when you are yourself, not like that. Exactly. Yeah. Girl, I'll get that all the time. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> be yourself, but not, <laughs> not, not too loud. Like that. You really Calm down. Yourself, whether it's, and I'm not, I don't mean negatively, but whatever it is. I mean, we pre- oh, we see it on memes. We see it on inspirational quotes. Mm-hmm. Be who you are. Be who you really with everything. I mean, that's with sexuality. That's yeah. with your finances, with your career choices, where you go to church, your religion. We, we push that narrative. Mm-hmm. But then when people are themselves, whether we agree with it or not, right? We it's a problem, or it's a, so then people are afraid to be themselves. Exactly. So that kind of ties into to a question I I've always been very curious about in terms of uh, sexuality, right? Mm-hmm. We know that there's huge double standards when it comes to men and women, mm-hmm. obviously Absolutely. in you it's know crazy. a sexual space, um, whether it's you know being monogamous, whether it's polygamy whether it's mm-hmm. bisexuality, mm-hmm. Um, these now things, it, fluid, now, right, fluid, being fluid. Um, what do you guys feel about those things? Like, is it, is it something I think, like for women, like, would you be willing to date someone who was fluid no, or? I have. <laughs> no, but I want you to be honest. I <laughs> and want I you think to it's good. I want you to give me the option Don't to play around. Don't, don't be act. dishonest for the sake of securing what it is that you exactly. want from me. Yeah. Tell the truth. And give me the I truth. deserve the right to say, A, I can deal with that. B, well, I no. cannot deal with that. And don't take right. my choice away from me. I personally, I'm not interested in yeah. sharing my anybody with anybody. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to do that. If you don't want me going out here laying it low, spreading it wide for others, don't do that to me. I mean, I feel like what don't you just said is kind of like a stereotype. <laughs> like, it low being bisexual is not going out here sleeping with everybody. Like, I feel like a lot of women think that. Like, they think if they're with a bisexual man that he's going to go mm-hmm. out and run off with another dude. That's not true. Like, I've had my experiences with bisexual men. And to be honest, they're some of the best sexual partners I ever had. Question. Serious question. You sh- you a straight man? Yeah. If a beautiful woman came to you, had all the qualities that you would consider that you look for, <laughs> loved it, and then you guys got together, beautiful woman, found out that that was a man, had a transition, never told you, never gave you the choice to accept that. How would you feel? <laughs> <laughs> look, <laughs> oh, no, that's, and that's, that's the real, real thing. That's the real thing. Because these men is real pretty these days. Well,